didn't think I had a video in me, but I just listened to a video of somebody. It was tissue expander fail, and actually it was 23 minutes, and she really only mentioned it once. So it makes me think about how long-winded I can be and how little uh, I might be saying over that time. But anyway, today I finished 16 out of 25, which is exciting. Um, I'm almost there. I'm the thing that's difficult right now, it's troubling me, is that a lot of the effects will come, will continue to come even after the radiation. So I had a treatment on Friday and then the breast started to get hard and uh, really uncomfortable and throbbing over the weekend and then I went back today. So one, it's cumulative and two, it seems there's a delayed reaction with what the radiation does. So, um, although I only have this week and next week, I have at least two weeks of whatever happens after that. So the person whose video I just watched, she um, ended up getting a hole in the expander, which is what I'm afraid of. And she was getting, she was doing autologous surgery, so she was using her own tissue, so they just took the expander out, and she did have some sort of infection, um, and also she got a boost, which is, I don't know if I'm getting a boost, you would think I would know that, we haven't talked at all about it, I've only heard other people mention it, um, a boost is they do all the treatments, and then they boost, um, a certain amount of radiation to a particular area, and I, there have been no conversations about me doing that so if he tells me that suddenly we're doing a boost I'm gonna be a little bit annoyed that I wasn't told of that sooner um, so I have my neck all wrapped up you can see the Sun is kind of like going in and out on the video it's um, I have to be careful of getting any Sun on my skin already what it looks like and depending on if I get home or not by the time I'm done with this video I might just show uh, the redness factor. So basically it's red. I have freckles that I didn't know I'd be getting freckles, but there they are. Um, it's not the biggest thing, but it was just kind of surprising to see them show up. Tight little small dark freckles, not like more light brown sort of bigger freckles. Um, I am really tired. I find myself kind of listless. The woman whose video I just listened to also said that she went through a little bit of a depression and I've never identified with being a depressed person. It's not that I don't have my other issues, but depression is not one of them. Um, and so it's really hard for me to know like what that means, but I definitely feel run down and pissed off and a little bit feeling victim-y about the whole situation. You know, just that feeling of like, why me? Why is this happening? Why is it so bad? people aren't really having time for me, the surgeon, the plastic surgeon, I just sent an email to them and I said, hey, this tissue expander feels hard as a rock. I'm talking concrete. I'm not talking like just a little bit harder. Um, and I wrote to his assistant as well and she wrote back like that's completely expected and normal. Um, the skin will get a little bit firmer. And I'm like, no, I'm not talking about skin firmness. I'm talking about a rock hard expander to me. I know I get pedantic about this stuff and I get a little overly literal, but I, it's not what I said. I said that the expander is really hard. So it just, it's requiring me to do all this research and I guess that's good, but I'm just not really feeling like I'm getting the attention and explanations that I want. Um, and then to add it to that, I'm just tired. So I just don't really have as, as much gumption as I usually do to go like kick ass and take names to get my answers. So I'm just kind of plugging along really. Um, I'm glad that I'm almost done. I mean, I'll never have to get radiation to that again, you know, Ariane. Thank God for that. Cause I really, uh, the people who think that radiation's a walk in the park, I mean, it's all relative, you know, the chemo was really hard. The surgery was hard in its own way. They're all kind of hard in different ways. It's sort of like being a parent and raising a child and the difficulties of a toddler are so different than that of an adolescent. So it's not like one's harder or one's easier. They're just like different challenges. And that's kind of what I'm feeling are the difference in the challenges and 
thank God I really only just need to take care of myself minimally at home and my daughter when she's with me because um, I just can't really handle anything more than that so yeah the skin's really red the expander's really hard um, it feels really kind of like buoyant at the bottom in a way that it hasn't before and the good thing is is if anything happens like I get a fever or I get sick or I feel like I've got any symptoms of infection I know I can just go straight down to the Palo Alto ER um, and I'll be treated and one thing that is interesting is that if something like that happens and they want to do surgery like for some reason they need to remove the tissue expander I just don't think ooh, some sort of animal just ran across my path we have a lot of animals where we live I just don't think I would put another expander in. I just can't handle it. I might just have a saggy skin envelope um, and no expander. I mean, I just don't think I can go through what that would take. But I do know that I've felt that before. Like, I've felt like I'm at my wit's end. Then I speak to the surgeon, and he just allays my fears and... Um, I do appreciate that he's able to do that, but I, I mean, I just don't want any more surgeries. I mean, I know they're going to want to expand the expanders when I'm done with radiation and the skin heals and I'm going to tell them, no, I don't, I do not care the size of my breasts. I do not care anything more. Like I do not want, I want the least amount of intervention that's needed at this point. Um, and I think that's just it's understandable I've gone it's been a year and a half October November December January February March April April will be exactly a year and a half so it's just shy of a year and a half but pretty much and I've gone through a lot you know I've had a lot of things happen and um, it's it's felt like a punch in the gut a lot of the times not to mention dealing with other things in life that are not easy so yeah anyway that's where I'm at with the expander and where I'm at with radiation um, I'm getting through it you can tell I'm kind of like uh, very fatigued um, but thankfully I'm almost there and I know I'll deal with whatever skin issues arise um, like I see I have to keep myself covered from the beautiful Sun that's come to grace us with its presence yet it's kind of annoying for me to have to avoid it okay home I'm just gonna see if you can see you can't really tell how red it is I mean, it just doesn't quite show up as yeah, I guess it kind of does I don't know anyway it's gonna get a lot worse I think because I've looked at pictures of women who have showed how bad it is but basically I get all the way up here all the way to down here and over here radiated it's quite a big area <sighs> lots of breathing lots of deep breathing lots of pauses lots of stopping and appreciating what's around me and doing my best really to just not be in my head and do other things that aren't related to cancer and aren't related to any of it. It's been um, quite nice actually to find myself um, doing other things that aren't that don't involve cancer. Oh, I do want to say I'm reading this book because I um, wanted to address the emotional aspects of getting cancer and I'm only a few pages in, but it's by Kath Catherine Northrup, Kathleen Catherine Northrup, who did Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. I know a lot of people are familiar with that. And she did one called, I think it's Mother Daughter Wisdom and Health. And she correlates and links um, our relationship to our mother and our relationship as a mother with the status, status of our health, state of our health. And um, it's quite confronting actually it's pretty amazing um, and hopefully as I find nuggets in that book I'll share them but um, I'm really loving uh, just getting into the emotional depths of my own being and my own inner workings and seeing what's there um, in that lineage the lineage of my mother and my daughter so I highly recommend the book it's great it's um, mother daughter wisdom I think it's called I know her last name is Northrup I know that part and she's a medical doctor all right, thanks so much for listening and being there with me. Take good care of you.